Let's continue our next topic. In the beginning, I would like to ask you a question. What is the largest organ of your body? Is it your heart? Is it your lung? Or your liver? Wait. No, it's your skin. And the evidence is this. If you took off your skin and let it flat, um, it would cover almost your entire body. And about 1.9 square meters. And now please turn to page 27. Open your textbook. Look at this picture. It shows a close-up of human skin. Um, please do the exercise A on your textbook. And I will ask someone to answer those four questions in two minutes. It's B. And question two. Hair follicles and surrounding nerves send messages to the brain. So if you pull your hair, you will feel very hurt. That's because your hair follicles is surrounded with nerves and it will send messages to your brain. So the answer to this question is, anyone? Okay. Oh, okay. Pass on. The Yo Ting. That's right. And question three: Glands produce sweat to cool the body. It means that when you feel hot, or after you're doing exercise, um, you will sweat to cool your body. So the answer to this question is, anyone want to answer? Cai Jia Lin. That's right. And question four. Thin blood vessels just below the epidermis help distribute nutrients and remove waste. So the answer to this question is the last one, C. And after I introduce skin structure, I will tell you its functions. Skin mainly has two functions. One is protection. Skin can protect protect us from damaging sunlight, harmful chemicals, and dangerous infections. And the other one is communication. Because skin is packed with nerves, it can keep our brain in touch with the outside world. However, not only skin's functions, but also its structure, but also its appearance is equally important. Many people like to have some colorful paintings on their skin. To make it look beautiful and colorful, they just regard their skin as the body's canvas. Okay. Next, let's talk about skin color. Everyone has different skin color. It differs from person to person. Skin color is, is decided by genes, so I can choose which color I would like to have. But human beings always want to control everything, including their appearance. So, so they try to lighten or darken their skin. And, but why they want to do this? And that's what I want you to think about. And please close your textbook. And I will play CD. white skin because uh, upper class don't, who don't have to work under sun have white skin. Okay, thank you. And anyone who want to answer the question too? They don't need to work indoors and they 
they have money to have a vacation outdoor. Okay. And we still have another activity. And I will give you five minutes. And every group needs to figure out. Um, why some people tried to lighten their skin color and why some people try to darken their skin color. And after five minutes, uh, all of you, uh, one of the members has, has to come here and write down your what you discussed on the blackboard. <coughs> what, why you write down these answers? Thank you. And the second one is Wang Qi Ren. Let's what my partner is going to introduce for you. 